Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning, Panning and Beyond. So this is a video that I probably should have done um, last week, but I didn't get around to it. So I'm doing it today. Uh, so this is my introduction to Wellness Wednesday, which is a collab that was started by Lauren Perkins and Isabel Smith. So they have got their own hashtag, uh, which I will make sure I put in the title of this video. And I uh, know quite a few ladies um, have joined this collab and basically it's open um, to anyone who wants to join and it's all about your own journey. So whether it be mental health, weight loss, um, wanting to drink more water, wanting to get fitter, uh, you through through you know exercising more or or whatever it's really up to the individual and um, what they want for themselves so originally I did say that I would just support from the sidelines but um, Isabel encouraged me to join in and something that Isabel um, said really resonated um, with me now if you watched the new year tag um, video that I did um, right towards the end of that video I said that my new year's resolution was to not set myself up for failure anymore um, and by setting myself unrealistic goals now um, I have mentioned before that I am very much an all or nothing person Moderation is something that I struggle with. Um, so I felt like even though even though that's kind of naturally who I am, it hasn't been working for me, which is like clearly I have been gaining weight um, over the last 10, well, prior to that really. Uh, but I know for almost the better part of a decade, I have been wanting to lose weight and it's just been slowly creeping up further and further uh, so I tend to um, go hard with my exercise um, which is not maintainable uh, I go on restrictive diets um, and yeah they're great I get results to start off with and then I just cannot keep up with it so uh, and Isabel said that you know you've got to learn to trust yourself again and that's what resonated with me is the fact that I I kept feeling like a failure and I've said to my husband a number of times you know what what's the point when I know that I'm just going to fail again um, it has gotten to the point where um, I, I just wanted to give up I, I no longer believed in myself and I've just had such a, a tough um, last 18 months and I you know I guess I, I've sort of tried to reset my way of thinking um, I don't want to go into all the you know everything that's happened because most of you um, will sort of know um, what the last 18 months has um, held for me uh, but for those of you who don't um, you know it has has been quite difficult it has really uh, tested me it's changed my outlook um, on life and I feel like I really need to be kind to myself so for me my wellness Wednesday um, is uh, sticking to not setting myself up for failure uh, trying to make healthier choices um, but not having um, sort of really strict conditions on myself i'm not forcing myself to get up on the treadmill five o'clock every morning and you know run for half an hour and uh, do weights and all the rest of it i'm not calorie counting anymore i um i do have a lot of food intolerances which has made the weight gain like um quite difficult because a lot of healthy foods i cannot eat because i struggle to digest them um though being you know i'm lactose intolerant i'm fructose intolerant uh there's a lot of vegetables i can't eat um i bloat terribly um if i do that's been really really hard because my go-to foods for maintaining my weight um even though my weight was good i was always bloated i was always in pain um and when i had to cut those things out of my diet naturally you replace those foods with 
um, other foods and uh, ones that I can digest fine but aren't necessarily good for my weight. So um, yeah, it, it's so that in itself, my, my diet is quite restrictive. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to uh, be kinder to myself and try to eat foods that I am allowed that are going to be good for my health um, in both ways. Um, now that I am working again, I am naturally being more active than I was before. Uh, so I'm hoping that will help. Um, and you know, I'm not thinking about it, but I do come home. I've got my Apple Watch and I see the amount of calories that I'm burning just through moving around. And it's just as good as when I was basically um, having that 45 minutes um, in the gym every morning and then doing nothing for the rest of the day. So, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be weighing in on a regular basis because I find that does my head in. I've mentioned before that diets make me cranky, <laughs> uh, probably for a, a, a lot of us. Um, but I do enjoy physical exercise. Uh, but yeah, I just found that I was so competitive with myself. I was always trying to do better and better and better. And it got to the point, like I said, where I couldn't maintain it. So, uh, yeah, this is a year for me of trying to, uh, have more moderation, um, in my life rather than extremes. And if I mess up, um, and I have a bad day that, you know, I don't feel so bad, and I uh, just try to get back on it again. Um, my mental health um, is really important to me. Um, I want to um, listen to myself more, um, to not make myself do things that I don't really feel like doing um, just to keep other people happy. I, I really want to go with myself. Um, and if I need to just take some time out and I want to play in my makeup room or I want to read a book or I want to watch a movie or something like that to do that um, and you know and I really want to spend time more time at home because that's something that was lacking for me up until 18 months ago I was working very long hours and my work followed me home a lot and yeah I wasn't very present um, so that's something that I really wanted um, to change. So yeah, I probably won't do updates every Wednesday, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not participating um, still. And uh, yeah, I'll just do updates when I feel like I've got something to report. Uh, I, I guess, you know, the fact that I don't have um, really uh, sort of specific goals is again part of being moderate uh, for me uh, if I just said that I wanted to try to shift a few kilos and feel fitter and more flexible uh, you know it, it might sound a bit wishy-washy to those of you who uh, have specific goals but uh, you know that's all all part of it for me um, and not making myself feel like a failure um, and uh, I did weigh myself today though um, I'm 82 kilos just so I've got a starting point that converts roughly to just under 181 um, pounds uh, and I'm only like five foot five so um, you know it I'm probably actually carrying at least 15 to 20 kilos um, of excess body weight more than I should um, so yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to say that over the 52 weeks of this year that, um, I have to have lost the whole 20. I think I would just be happy to be, um, back under 80, <laughs> um, you know, uh, which has been really, really difficult. Um, so, you know, uh, whatever I get under there, um, will, will be a bonus. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so, um, just a quick introduction and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll update you guys um, when I can. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to get going. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all um, again soon with my uh, Roulette Pen collab update, which I wanted to try and get filmed today, but I have run out of time and that's part of it. I'm not going to put myself under pressure. It's really important for me today that um, I spend some time with my daughter and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll hopefully do the Roulette Pen collab update tomorrow um yeah and i've got a few other things in store so uh so that's it guys thank you for joining me and i will catch us all again soon bye